Thank you very much. And let me say uh, what you'll find with these issues that they are bipartisan, fish no, no boundaries of political persuasion. They look at what uh, is important to them. We like to catch them and eat them. And so it doesn't matter where they come from in the sense of Alaska, but also through the Gulf. So again, thank you for the opportunity to say a few words. Uh, Senator Whitehouse, thank you for organizing this and allowing an opportunity. Uh, I will tell you, we don't mean to outnumber you having two Alaskans here, but we are so dedicated to this issue. I can tell you, uh, having this opportunity to have these four treaties ratified is incredibly important for us. I know lots of times we talk about illegal, unreported, unregulated, uh, I like to simply call it just pirate fishing. These are people who steal our fish out of our waters and then try to sell them back to us, and it clearly is what it is. Stealing our stocks, in, impacting our fisheries, and have, as just mentioned, uh, the cost to our market of $23 billion a year nationwide, worldwide, uh, because of these pirate fishermen and fishing women. The Alaska crab fishermen, for example, the people who like to watch a reality show, The Deadliest Catch is one of those. The Deadliest Catch guys tell me that over a half a billion dollars in lost crab because of illegal imports that are coming in, may they be stolen or labeled incorrectly. The human impact is even more appalling when you think about it. Working condition of these boats are deplorable. They don't call them rust buckets for nothing. They are. They're dangerous. They're unsafe. They have forced labor, human trafficking, slavery, you name the list, it's everything you can imagine in these ships. And again, you can call it what you want, but at the end of the day, what's happening is pirate fishing. They're stealing the fish. And again, illegal fishing entry is a stateless criminal enterprise. There's no flags. Uh, they steal fish with impunity. They victimize their workers. And we need to fight back. And these treaties help do it. The Coast Guard, which we love our coasties, it doesn't matter if they're in Alaska or around the country. They do an incredible job. They track down these criminals on the high seas and chase them down. And you can see in this picture where they've caught uh, one of the ships, our Coast Guard uh, cutters in the North Pacific a few years back. And there's no question when they catch these ships what should happen to them, from my perspective. Now, I'm a little more radical on this. I know we'll have these treaties, which are important, but. You know, my view is they catch a ship like this, they should take the crew off, take the hazardous waste off, and sink it to the bottom of the ocean. Then we're done. And the people will get a clear message. Now, I know some lawyers object to my idea. I recognize that. But, but let me tell you, uh, we had some ships. This one, for example, uh, as you can see, it is not only a rust bucket, you can see the rust bleeding off of it. This is one of these ships that was washed ashore uh, washed into our waters from the tsunami in Japan, and, and you can see a well-placed artillery shell hit it in the middle because they decided to sink it. So after the Coast Guard and some lawyers thought it wasn't a good idea, we had a piece of equipment that they then went ahead and sunk. I will tell you, you do this kind of activity, I guarantee you, the pirate shipping or the pirates of this country who are trying to steal, pirates in this world trying to steal our fish will get a clear and simple message. But it is important to go after these pirates. And the Coast Guard, in this case, it was an old rust bucket. They sunk to the bottom. I've taken to the floor many times on the Coast Guard that they need better tools, more cutters, more patrol aircraft to do their job and increase their capacity of going after these pirates. And not only pirates on fishing, that's smuggling drugs and all the other work uh, that these illegal ships are doing that we need to go after. Uh, we need to have tougher laws. That's what these treaties do. They strengthen, they're bipartisan. The Port State Measures Treaty tightens rules on seafood imports, provides for better inspections, lists the pirate boats so we know who to keep out of our waters. Others deal with protecting high seas seamounts, and others needed provisions specific to the North Pacific, South Pacific, and the Atlantic. They have been in years of negotiations. And I applaud our teams at the State Department and NOAA and the, the many senators that have engaged in this issue to solve this problem, to create more tools for us to enforce. And now we need to do our part. We need to support these treaties. Again, it's a bipartisan effort. We need to support these treaties because it will support our fishermen, support our economies throughout the ocean states and the Gulf states and throughout uh, the states that have impact with fisheries. And we also need to do it because the rule of law and protecting and, and respecting the rule of law and human dignity that 
uh, in, that we insist on. When we think of the impact of these individuals that are trapped on these boats, and literally the kind of human trafficking and slavery and the forced work that these guys are taken to on these pirate ships are appalling. And we should be appalled just by that fact alone, besides the billions they steal from the waters and try to resale or harvest from the oceans illegally. So let me just sum up by saying again, I know my ideas of sinking a pirate ship may be a little radical, but Coast Guard did it on one ship, and my view is, why not more? But at least we'll have some treaties, maybe uh, with this work on the floor tonight. And again, Senator Whitehouse, I thank you for organizing all of us that care so deeply about uh, the fishing industry and these treaties that will make a difference. When you put more tools in the toolbox, it will have impact, and you can rest assured I'll do everything I can to gather the support necessary to make sure these treaties pass. So again, I'll stop at this point and appreciate uh, the efforts, and thank you for allowing me a little visual aids. Uh, sometimes you, words are great, visual aids make impact, and hopefully people see, and hopefully those pirates will see we're serious. And uh, this isn't some movie that Johnny Depp's in either. We're, we're about going after those pirate ships. So again, thank you for the opportunity to say a few words.